Hey everyone, I am Cory Joe or we CJ and welcome to Commander Class. In today's episode we will be talking about the land types called Gates. When it comes to Gates there is a total of 21 land cards. There are 5 allied, 5 enemied, 5 that can produce a colour of any mana, 5 thriving lands and then 1 colourless gate. So well, there is also going to be a secret card at the very end because the land itself is not a gate. However, it does something with gates. So people that have played Magic the Gathering for a while probably know the card I'm on about. So in total, I will be talking about a total of 22 cards in this class. When it comes to the gates, I'll be talking about them in groups of five and then the colorless one and then the bonus one at the end. So the first five I will be talking about are the allied color gates. So usually when it comes to these arts, they are the gates of the ally do colours and I will be putting them on screen now. Azorius Guild Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Azorius Guild Gate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a white or blue. Demir Guild Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Demir Guild Gate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a blue or black. Rakdos Guild Gate, it is a land that's a gate that's a common. Rakdos Guild Gate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a black or red. Grul Guild Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Grul Guild Gate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a red or green. Selesnia Guild Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Selesnia Guild Gate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a green or white. And the second five I'll be talking about are the enemies. They're pretty much the exact same as the allied, except for they are the enemy dual color lands. And I'll be talking about them on screen now. Orzov Gilgate, it's a land that's a gate that's common. Orzov Gilgate enters the battlefield tapped and taps for a white or black. Is it Guildgate? It's a land that's a gate that's a common. Is it Guildgate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a blue or red? Gilgari Guildgate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Gilgari Guildgate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a black or green. Boros Guildgate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Boros Guildgate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a red or white. Simic Guildgate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Simic Guildgate enters the battlefield tapped and it taps for a green or blue. So now that we've gone through all the allied and enemy gates, there is five gates that are able to make or tap for a colour of any mana because there's different ways to do it. Uh, some make treasures, some you have to sacrifice something or tap something with it. So I'll just be grouping them all at once, but these are all land cards that are able to somehow produce you one manner of any colour, and I'll be putting them on screen now. Gateway Plaza, it's a land that's a gate that's a common, Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield tapped. When Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you pay one, tap, add one manner of any colour. Baldur's Gate, it's a legendary land that is a gate, it is a rare, it taps for a colourless or a waste, tap to an it, add x mana of any one colour where x is the number of other gates you control. Gond Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's an uncommon, gates you control end of the battlefield untapped, it taps for a colourless or a waste, tap, add one mana of any colour that a gate you control can produce. Heap Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's common, it taps for a colourless or a waste, tap one and it, add one mana of any colour, Tap on an it, tap an untapped gate you control, create a treasure token. Thrans Portal, it's a land that's a gate that's a rare. Thrans Portal enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. As Thrans Portal enters the battlefield, choose a basic land type. Thrans Portal is the chosen type in addition to its other types. Mana abilities, mana abilities of Thrans Portal cost an, an additional one life to activate. And then finally, when it comes to the groups of five, there is the Thriving Lands, which are lands I personally absolutely hate, but there are five of them in total. They tap for one mana of each color. However, when they enter, you're allowed to say what other color you want, and then they tap for that. Personally, I think these are the worst lands, but however, they are on the gate list. They are gates, so I'll be putting them on screen now. Citadel Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Citadel Gate enters the battlefield tapped. As Citadel Gate enters the battlefield, choose a color other than white. Tap. Add white or one mana of the chosen colour. Seagate, it's a land that's a gate that's common. Seagate enters the battlefield tapped. A seagate enters the battlefield, choose a colour other than blue. Tap, add blue or one mana of the chosen colour. Black Dragon Gate, it's a land that's a gate that's a common. Black Dragon Gate enters the battlefield tapped. As Black Dragon Gate enters the battlefield, choose a colour other than black. Tap, add black or one mana of the chosen colour. Cliff Gate. It's a land that's a gate that's a common. Cliff gate enters the battlefield tapped. As cliff gate enters the battlefield, choose a colour other than red. Tap. Add red or one mana of the chosen colour. Manor gate. It's a land that's a gate that's common. Manor gate enters the battlefield tapped. As manor gate enters the battlefield, 
Choose a colour other than green. Tap, add green or one mana of the chosen colour. And then finally when it comes to the gates there was one that taps for a colourless or a waste. However it has a secondary ability and I find that quite good. However you need to put other gates in it. And that's why it's a gate card and it's also a gate land so it's why i'm mentioning it in this video so it'll be on screen now basculus gate it's a land that's a gate that's a common tap to add a colorless or waste tap to an it target creature gets plus x plus x until end of turn where x is the number of gates you control activate only as a sorcery and then finally is the special card the reason i decided to put this in is because it helps with gates it has a ability with gates however the card itself is just a land and i'll be putting it on screen now maze's end it's a land that is a mythic maze's end end is the battlefield tapped tap add one mana to your mana pool or tap three and it return maze's end to its owner's hand search your library for a gate card and put it on the battlefield then shuffle your library if you control 10 or more gates with different names you win the game so now you know what gates are and the abilities that come with them and you also know a special bonus card when it comes to Magic the Gathering gates. So as always let me know what you think of this class in general, let me know what was your favourite gate, even if it's the art or what it does, in the comments down below and in next week's class we will be talking about bounce lands. But as always remember to like, subscribe, follow, follow me on all my social media and all that good stuff. I've also started a Patreon which is also in my link tree so please go have a look at that, it helps support this channel and as always I will see you in the next video. Also, if you find that this class was good, last week's class was Guild Heartlands. Also, if you want to know more, there's a playlist when it comes to all these classes down below.